Hey, any bad shit is the 9th of August, 2019. And I simply must share with you some very interesting things that have been presented to us here. Again, this is all a spiritual battle that Satan wants your soul, okay? He, he does not want you to be redeemed back to the Father. That's his main goal, okay? And everything we see, like the layouts of cities, streets, and all these things, this is all math, magic math, and sorcery, and witchcraft, and all the above, okay? It's, it's the hand of Satan in the world. And the flesh, okay, that, that thing we all walk around in, these bodies, we all have within us the good and the evil. We have the tendencies to be good, and we have the ability to be evil. So it's within us. No matter how we live our lives, that lies within us. However, it will not have power over you if you are cleansed in the blood of Jesus Christ. That's the key to everything. Otherwise, there's going to be a deception that's going to slide in under your radar because you're dealing with something that is far higher and smarter, although it's foolishness to God, these are things that most cannot comprehend, and you never will through your own understanding, through your own learning and knowledge. That's the trap. That's all vanity. Real truth, the truth, can only come by the Holy Spirit of the living God through Jesus Christ, because only by accepting and knowing him as your savior, the only savior, can you indwell his spirit. Otherwise, you're, you're uninhabitable by the spirit, okay? I hope that makes sense. But I noticed some stuff the other day about San Francisco. The fact that it only has three numbered uh, routes, if you will, roads that go through it. And those are Route 80, Route 101, there's your 811 right there, and Route 1. Those are the only three numbered routes in San Francisco, right? And the only two that traverse the Golden Gate Bridge are 101 and 1. So you're 111. And again, this is all laid out under the guise of the devil because men build these things because they're so proud and they get rewarded you understand in this world by money which equates to uh, what people call freedom but it's just the flesh fulfilling its desires it's that side of us that we're mostly unaware of and we live our lives as good people but we do bad things and I mean everything counts man every lie every embellishment every it all counts it's all going to be accounted for so you got to really think about what you do when you're walking in the spirit you start to lean to those things you, that spirit will convict you it'll you'll know that i shouldn't go there that i shouldn't think that i shouldn't do that i shouldn't say that that's how it works and it is what you know enables you to hear that soft gentle voice that's how it works and I'm just telling you and you got to be real careful because that devil is just as slick as it can be and so I was looking at all those roads and I started to realize the ones that cross the Golden Gate are 1 and 101 which gives us a 111 and again this is all sorcery witchcraft math magic you know they don't produce mathematicians in schools anymore they produce math magicians because they feed them false information the devil is that cunning that even the greatest mathematicians in the world still cannot get to the core of the creation of it if that makes sense so it's all a deceit when you're living in this world san francisco route one and 101 in 80 okay now that in and of itself, like I said, the 80, the 101, the one, there's your 811. And we just look at some of these things, you know, the, in the Hebrew for one, the father, for the Greek, the alpha, the first, 
Okay, the 101 is a bowl, a basin, a cup, which is a bay. All right, San Francisco Bay is a literal basin. I mean, this is just the kind of stuff I see, you guys, and I think it's worthy of sharing because it is. San Francisco Bay, the geology of it until the last ice age, the basin, which is now filled by San Francisco Bay, was a large linear valley with small hills, so on and so forth. That's what San Francisco Bay is, a basin. And, you know, in Exodus, the basin is where the blood from the sacrifice is placed, as well as on the altar. And all these scriptures I put up here, I really highly suggest you read them. I read all this stuff, but I'm not a teacher of scripture. So I just give my interpretation of these things I see. You know what I mean? I gotta tell you, there's an awful lot to this. <laughs> but regardless, you know, that's San Francisco Bay. That's that's just interesting to me, the basin. Okay? And the 101 in the Greek I thought was worthy of putting up here because it means to be unable, impossible. But not according to Luke one thirty seven, because with God all things are possible. And don't forget, right outside of San Francisco Bay, we have the Legion and the Benu ritual, rebirth, resurrection, craziness out there. You know what I mean? It's like, the stuff is nuts. You know, this is the stuff I'm led to, you guys. The 101 and the 80, of course, 181, the 811. And this is really, really interesting. You, you just can't get around this stuff because it's so obvious, you know. U.S. Route 101, California, okay, their West Coast Highway, that opened up on 11-11-1926. I mean, we're going to go look at this, but I just got to tell you this stuff. The 92 years, 9 months, and 2 days to 8-11 since it was officially opened. 11-11, again, the 8 times 11, the 88, the 811, it's everywhere, 911, 911, and it's exactly 1,113 months if you can wrap your mind around this stuff, and like I say, this all connects to this magic, this underlying satanic spirit, which is what we war against, you know, and it's being exposed to us, revealed. 33,000 days. The 876 is a pit or a well. <laughs> now get this. U.S. California 101. I have to show you this because it's nuts. It really is. U.S. Route 101, California. Look at the length of this thing, you guys. 808.111 miles. Seriously? And that's official. It is. Everywhere you look, that's what you'll find. 1,300 kilometers. And there there it is right down here, November 11th, 1926. Amazing. And that's what all this right here spells out to. It's just like the pit. 9-11, 9-11. The time factor. All these different things, you guys. 808. What? That's in. That's just nuts, man. Take that and subtract the 101. It's 707 111. It's just all this stuff, you guys. I can't help but share it with you. Remember, there was a San Francisco earthquake in 1906 that wrecked the city, 113 years ago. Incidentally, ooh, this is really important here. The the quake that they had, the last big quake they had in that area was a 6.9, right? And it shook the World Series at Candlestick Park, the menorah. And that was on 10-17-1989. Again, the 7 the 9-8-9, 9-8-17. This is just how I see this stuff. But get a load of this. Up until today, it's 10,888 days ago that that earthquake happened. That's insanity to me. That equates to 1,555 weeks and three days. Today could be an interesting day, you guys. You never know. It's not over yet. Back to the Golden Gate stuff now. I don't know about you guys, but I have not seen or heard a McDonald's commercial in quite literally years. 
And yesterday, there was a video playing in the house, and a ad came on for McDonald's. And the, the immediate thought, Golden Arches, the Golden Gate, the Golden Arches of McDonald's, right? I'm sorry, but this is just too crazy to me to not show you guys. You know what I mean? The Golden Arches, the Golden Gate. That's that's just off the charts to me, you guys. And I know it's just another part of this whole metaphysical, ritualistic, spiritual warfare. But there it is. I mean, do you know the first time that they used those golden arches in their franchise? The very first time was in Phoenix, Arizona, as in the Phoenix, right? As in the Bennu bird, which the Phoenix comes from which is in San Francisco Bay in Golden Gate Strait. Showed you that the other day. Fisherman's Wharf, you can see the Golden Gate. I don't know why that... Oh, because there's a McDonald's down there. <laughs> That's why I see the McDonald's on near Fisherman's Wharf with the nice view of the Golden Gate Bridge. That's just crazy stuff, you guys. But, yeah. And then all this other stuff is just notes, you know. It leads me to the Jews. It leads me to the Temple Mount. And it leads me to all these these fake Jews that are bringing forth all this prophecy. They're not who they say they are, all right? There are real true Jews that love God with all their heart, mind, and soul. And there are the ones that are leading them everybody astray. And these are the ones that are in charge in Israel, the ones that have a seat at the White House with Trump and with his kids. I mean, my goodness, they're just steeped in this stuff. And it's all Kabbalah-driven. It's all magic and sorcery. They think that they're the chosen ones to bring forth prophecy, so on and so forth. And they're, all the rest of us are just stupid goyim slaves. When Jesus appears, every knee will bow. Just remember that. They're prophesying about these foxes at the Temple Mount. I think that's crazy. I think it's more Ezekiel, Ezekiel 13. They're like foxes in the deserts, the prophets. Look up foxes in the Bible. There isn't one instance where a fox is referred to as anything good, anything that's a good sign. Because this is what they get when they, they proclaim this to be prophetic proof. But they're getting their proof out of their Talmud, which was written by rabbis, men, who were not inspired by God. That's just a simple fact of the matter. But they play it off like they were. And this is what they're talking about in Ezekiel 13. He's talking about those prophets. The prophets of Israel that prophesy and say unto them that prophesy out of their own hearts. Hear ye the word of the Lord. Thus saith the Lord, Woe unto the foolish prophets that follow their own spirit and have seen nothing. Their, thy prophets are like foxes in the deserts. That's what we're seeing right here. This is God revealing these liars, these serpents, these vipers. It's the same ones that Jesus berated in the temple. Right after he flipped over the money tables, right? I mean, come on. This is just so obvious. And it was, they were near the Western Wall, the same place where the 70 ancients built their synagogue, where Trump was at the wall as the only sitting president to do so, facing toward the east, mind you. And the jackals are in the synagogue, the foxes. Numerologically is a 666, for a reason. The actual word in the Hebrew is 7776. Divide that, though. Isn't that funny? If you divide that 7776 by 666, it's 11.6. Turn that upside down and backwards, and that's what we're dealing with. An upside down, backwards deception. They're having this festival at Golden Gate Park as well. Right? Paul Simon, the bridge over troubled waters. I found it crazy interesting that he recorded that song on 11.9. 1969. <laughs> yeah. And there's a band playing at this festival on Sunday at 3 in the afternoon called Judah and the Lion. <laughs> Man. Oh, here we go. This is from yesterday. You might have to get psychiatric evaluation to get a knife from now on because there was a knife 
stabbing spree across the country yesterday that the mainstream isn't talking about. There was a whole bunch of killings with knives on one day, 8-8. Eight, eight. And it, it, just look it up. Stabbings on 8-8, eight, eight, you'll find a lot of them. But this one was crazy. This guy running around the L.A. area, killed four, seriously wounded two, the 42, the number of the Antichrist, 42 months. He was 33 years old, and he was from Garden Grove. The G, G, as in Golden Gate. And he was taken into custody out of a 7-Eleven. You can't make this stuff up, you guys. It's just this ritual building up to its climax. And God is showing us and telling us, just be in Christ. Be in that spirit. Your steps will be guided and his peace will be upon you. But just get a load of that in the city of the angels on top of it all. Unbelievable. The 101, I, this just came into my mind yesterday, and 101 when Jesus is talking about the 100 sheep. <laughs> it's just what came into my mind. Matthew 18, 11, for the Son of Man has come to save that which is lost. How think ye if a man have an 100 sheep and one of them gone astray? Matthew 8, 12, and look at the number for sheep. G, 4, 2, 6, 3, 23. 46. The separation. The sheep are being separated. Are you born again in Jesus? Are you separated from this world? Oh, unbelievable. The 812 again, minus that 101. <laughs> 1711. So, I just share this stuff with you guys. I will put as many links as I have in the description box. And I pray this makes sense and that you see that we're not dealing with flesh and blood. We're dealing with powers, principalities, wickedness in high places. Put on the whole armor of God. Peace and grace to y'all. Many fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God,